I'd like to introduce our next speaker, Fat Not Nam. He is um, a associate professor at the and vice dean of the School of Electronics and Telecommunications at the Hanoi University of Science and Technology in Vietnam. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you to uh, say thank you to British Council for giving me this great opportunity to share with you how we can steam conducting uh, can conduct uh, international standard research under a lot of resource constraints. And uh, I will focus on uh, how we engage with community for research funding. So first, I will give you some background about the status of research in Vietnam in general and uh, in ha at Hanoi University of Science and Technology in particular, how difficult it is to do research in Vietnam. That's, that is the, the main the main point of this first introduction part. And then I will uh, present a research management model at School of Electronics and Telecommunications um, to overcome these difficulties. And finally, I will uh, give you, share with you some successful case studies on how, uh, on how we engage with industry and international research partners to elaborate our research quality. Okay, so Hanoi University of Science Technology is in Hanoi, and if you visit our new university, you should also visit this very beautiful landscape of Vietnam, which is Hat Long Bay. So don't forget to go to Hat Long Bay when you visit our university or visit Hanoi. And uh, we are uh, we, we were established in 15, uh, 1956, and we are now one of the leading technical universities in Vietnam with 45,000 students, 2,000 employees, including 1,600 faculty members who have seven, uh, 27 schools and research institutes. And as a lecturer, for myself, for example, I'm uh, an associate professor. So according to our university regulations, I have to do teaching, research, and other tasks. So if you look at this table, you can see I have to do action hours of 900 hours of teaching, okay? And including, this includes uh, preparing for the lectures, giving lectures, grading, and some, uh, so on and so forth. And it is equivalent to 320 class hours, equivalent class hours. This is quite easy to get because we have a lot of students and almost all of our staff have to teach as, uh, try as much as the minimum requirement. How about research hours? We have to, I have to do 600 research hours. So how, you, you, you might be surprised because here you are full professor, you have to teach more which is something strange. But that is the situation now, right now in Vietnam, in, in, in my university. Uh, so how can I obtain, how can I meet 600 hours of, teach, uh, of research? So there are two ways. Either I can write scientific papers, or I can do research. I, I, I can apply for research projects and have patents. So, for my load, I have to write at least one national journal paper or one international conference paper, which is accounted for 500 points. However, it is divided by number of authors. So I need to write five papers if I have five authors in all my, all my papers. So it is not easy, you see? And it's even harder because we need to have research projects to write paper, to have money, to have budget to, to, uh, to go for the conference. So not all of our staff can have projects. So I, I, I will tell you later how difficult it is to get projects in Vietnam. Okay, so uh, in Vietnam we only have four institutions which is, which are doing research well enough to be put on this list of ranking of SCI institution rankings. This is based on the output, the number of papers, 
number of citations and so on, uh, based on the publication in last year, uh, 2012. And we are lucky enough to be in this list, Hanu University of Science Technology, uh, ranked fourth in the country. Uh, but if you look at the world ranking, it's very sad. It's uh, very humble. I mean, I mean it's really, I, I don't like this thousand something, 2000, and in the, area, in the region of uh, Asian Pacific, we are ranking almost 1,000, with 900. But still, we are, we've been happy because we are on the list, okay? Many other universities are not, are not listed. Uh, so you see here, Vietnam National University, Hanoi Vietnam National University. Uh, why, why are they better than us? Because they are multi-disciplines. We are only engineering. So I, I, I can... <coughs> Explain. So you, you see here we have 610 research, international research papers last year. And uh, here is uh, some data on the number of publication, internet, international publications in Vietnam uh, from 1991 to 2011. So you see we have an uh, average uh, annual growth rate of 15%, which is not, not very impressive. Isn't it? And uh, uh, it is predicted that by the year 2020, uh, uh, 12, sorry, 20, 2020, uh, Vietnam will have 5,000 per year, with publications per year. And it's in one fourth of our neighboring countries, which is Thailand. So I hope uh, the UK, Vietnam UK University, will contribute a lot on this number because otherwise it's going to be very slow. So <clears throat> if you look at this uh, research funding we have, uh, okay, you, you, you might understand why our performance is not so high, okay? So if you look at the percentage of GDP spent on research, it's, it's not, it, it, it's comparable. With, other, with many other countries. But the absolute value is 653 million US dollar for last year, which is the same as the Korean Advanced Institute of Science Technology research budget. And for KAIST, they only have 1,500 researchers. So for, for the whole Vietnam, this is amount of research spent. Uh, it's even worse because 10% are directly invested on research projects. Uh, uh, why 43% are spent for de development and investment for different ministries and uh, provinces? So we, we, we have, for example, for, uh, M, uh, for Ministry of Education Training, we also have research projects uh, which belong to this category. And the rest is the running budgets for research institutes, different research institutes in Vietnam. And um, about public funding versus private funding, uh, according to uh, the, the data I have, 70% are public funding and 30% uh, is private funding. So we need to increase this number because it's industry play a very important part and it has benefits from university. Okay, so this is uh, some statistic on how difficult it is to get research projects accepted. Research funding is getting more competitive. For example, last, uh, this year we submitted uh, 30 uh, proposal for university level project and we only got six accepted, which is 70% accepted rate and it, it it's even much lower for national level research projects. Okay, so that is the challenges, the difficulties we are facing right now for doing research. So now I'm going to tell you how we can overcome this by using our management model. So in our school of electronic tele telecommunications, we have six departments, and uh, uh, we are the only school who have research and development center for electronic and telecommunications. Um, we have a quite young generation of staff 
60% younger than 40, and, and almost all of us graduated from uh, developed uh, countries. Uh, we have enough uh, researchers. And uh, how about the students? Because students are also a very important component of human resource. We only have 10% of our 200 graduate program are Master of Science or PhD, so which is not enough, which is very limited. So we need to take advantage of our very excellent five, almost 500 undergrad students for doing research with us. That's why we have, we have an uh, interdepartment research lab which uh, can, uh, uh, how to say, it's group different researchers from different departments sharing the same research topics in one lab. So with that, we can have a strong research group in order to compete with other research groups in our university or, and also in Vietnam. In addition, we have a lot of undergrad, undergraduate students working in the lab, and uh, uh, we, we can have a human resource, enough human resource for a, a, a lot of research activities. And uh, in addition to, uh, to this, we have a professional administration staff who, takes, who, who take care of all the financial aspects of the projects. The researchers are free, okay, of uh, financial aspect. Okay, so this statistic of number of research projects we are having, so it's increasing trend. That is good, good side. Uh, you can see more on the online slide about this. We have quite a lot of research partners, including industry and also uh, academic institutions. So for publications, we have increased our number of publications uh, for over the last three years. And uh, among these 132 publications, we have 45% uh, of them have graduate students as co-author. 35% have undergrad students as co-authors, and 35% have international authors. So we rely a lot on international partners also. Okay, and we also organize our international conference. Uh, we, we are organizer of international conference in order to help researchers in Vietnam to have low budget to uh, uh, participate in the conference. This conference uh, reduced conf conference fee, and also it, because it's organized in Vietnam, it's very easy to, 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 to get access to the conference. So next year we'll be in Da Nang, so if you're interested, you're invited to attend this conference. Okay, uh, I, 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 I will spend one more minute, okay? <laughs> Sorry for that. Okay, so I, I, I will tell you some case, successful case studies on how we are engaging with industry and uh, international partner. So we, for example, we have project with Samsung Electronics and Panasonic on this uh, the company will contribute uh, 20k to 30k US dollars per year, and our contribution is human resource and the research ideas. And what are the output of the project? Drawing publication patents, train students ready to work at companies. So that is the benefit. Uh, with Korean University, we have a very good coll uh, collaboration with KAIST. So also KAIST spends this amount of money per year, share tools and software license with us, and also provide human resource in the project. And for our contribution, we have human resource, we have idea, and the same. And especially, they're very interested in undergrad students ready to do master and PhD in Korea. And the last case study is the project with IC University in Japan. You see, they provide not so too much money. It's, it's, it's a very small amount, but they share with us tools ideas, human resource, and they, 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 they are the one who take care of conference presentation. So it saves a lot of money for us. And we contribute in human resource and ideas. And also the output is our publication patents and train undergrad students ready to do master in IC University. So that is for my presentation. Thank you very much for your kind attention. <laughs>